a viewer identified a hall sensor that looks like it's the sensor I see in the Genful joysticks, and maybe even the I see in the K Silver joysticks. At least the numbers on the IC seem to match up to a Hall Wii HAL9303 linear Hall effect sensor. But how could the output of the sensors vary so much if they are all the same? There are a couple of very small SMD parts on the Genful sensor PC boards. Is that the difference? Or maybe a customized version of the sensor IC? I'm curious to know the answer. I've got five sensors here to look at. The three on the left are the Genful sensors. The blue sensor is the K Silver, and the green sensor is the Favor Union. Now, the number on the Favor Union doesn't match a marking number for the HAL 9303 IC, but I'm going to check it out as well. I'll have to remove the plastic housings without damaging the parts or PC boards. I have my plastic tip on the soldering iron and the temperature set to 490 degrees Fahrenheit. I have the hot air station set to 525 degrees Fahrenheit with 30% air volume. It's going to be a slow process. I'll cut away some of the plastic with the iron tip, heat it up a bit with the hot air to soften it, and try and peel it off the board. I'll be doing this over and over again. Here is the L3J board. It has a resistor on the left side and two capacitors on the right. And this is by far the slowest of the hall sensors. Here is the L4A board. It has a resistor in the same location on the left, but only one capacitor on the right and the L4B board is identical to the L4A board. I will try to check the values of the resistors and capacitors. They're just so tiny, I'm not sure how well that will go. Here is the K-Silver sensor board. There are no parts on it other than the Hall IC, so that should make comparing the Genful sensors easy. I just have to remove parts. And lastly, the Favor Union sensor board. It has two capacitors and the sensor IC. It is the only one of the sensor boards that is single-sided. I'm going to install each of the sensor boards onto one of my test boards for the electromagnet. I'm going to take a look at the response of each sensor before I remove any of the capacitors. I want to make sure the readings are close to what I've gotten in the past for each type of sensor. I want to make sure I haven't damaged any of them when I remove the plastic casing. Channel 1, the yellow trace, is the current through the electromagnet. Channel 2, the green trace, is the output from the Hall sensor board. The electromagnet is energized at one polarity for 50 milliseconds, then the polarity is reversed for the next 50 milliseconds. It takes about 3 milliseconds for the magnetic field to reverse. And here's the rise time waveform for the L3J board. It's around 10 milliseconds. Now that is faster than I remember this being for this sensor board. Here is the waveform for the fall time. Can see, even after 50 milliseconds, it hasn't even reached the halfway value so close enough to what I remember these being like. They feel so smooth in a controller because the output is filtered way too much. Here is the rise time for the L4A sensor. If I remember right, 10 to 90% was about 8 to 9 milliseconds, so that looks correct. I don't think I've damaged this one. And the fall time is right at 50 milliseconds. L4B sensor board. Rise time very close to the L4A board. Not quite as much output, but that is probably just sensor to sensor differences. Fall time is also about the same as the L4A board, so I don't really see any difference between the L4A and L4B. Both boards have ICs labeled 93L43, so maybe they are the same boards. I'll have to see what the resistors and capacitors read. Here is the fall time for the K-Silver much faster than the Genful sensors. But could it just be the resistors and capacitors on the Genful? K-Silver rise time. Fairly well matched rise and fall times for this one. And lastly, the Favor Union fall time. Fastest of this lot for sure. But can see how low the output signal is. This is the same magnetic field that was pushing the other sensors to almost full output. This sensor needs a much larger magnetic field. Rise time, just as fast as the fall time. I'm quite sure this is a different sensor. There is just too much difference between them. I'm going to remove the capacitors from the Genful sensor boards and see if I can measure their value. I'll measure the resistor values on the boards after I remove the capacitors. Smallest parts I've ever removed to test, I think. I believe these are 0201 SMD parts. These are the capacitors from the L3J sensor board. 
top capacitor on the board read 1.25 microfarad, so probably a 1 microfarad. The bottom capacitor I'm having a time with. I think I've had the probes on it twice and it reads open. I may have damaged this one removing the plastic from the board, as I'm pretty sure rise time for these was more than 10 milliseconds. So it's wired up like this. Resistor is 4.7k ohm. They really wanted to filter the output of this, and it shows. This is the capacitor from the L4A sensor board, and I put my brain in gear to measure this one. It's so much easier to measure it with it sorted to a PC board pad. So this one reads 566 nanofarad, so maybe this is a 0.56 microfarad capacitor. And it's hooked up something like this. Resistor is now a 10K ohm, but now no capacitor directly on the output pin of the IC. Is that the fall time difference? Are the ICs different? L4B has the same value parts, connected the same way, so kind of makes sense the waveforms were very similar. Okay, now it's back to the electromagnet with the capacitors removed. Now here is what the rise time for the L3J sensor board looks like. And the fall time, so much faster, and now the rise and fall times are very similar. Likely a bit more noise in the output, but hard to tell. This really isn't a low noise setup. Here is the fall time for the L4A sensor board. The Hall sensor on this board seems to be the most sensitive to magnetic fields. This much magnetic field is saturating the output for this sensor. And here is the fall time for the L4B sensor board. There is a slight difference from the L4A board, even though they have the same IC number. I think this is just a difference from IC to IC. Looks like it's the same IC in all the Genful sensors, and a capacitor on the output pin is not a good idea if you want a fast response time. And here's the K-Silver. Quite a bit of difference. Now here's the K-Silver output at 1 millisecond division on the scope. It has discrete steps in the output that are very noticeable, and each step is around 650 microseconds, so around 1.5 kilohertz. And here's the Genful L3J sensor board with no capacitors installed at 1 millisecond of division. Smooth output ramp, no noticeable steps at all, maybe even a bit faster than the K-Silver sensor. So I'm confident the Hall IC in the Genful is different than the IC in the K-Silver. I do believe the IC in the Genful sensors is the HAL9303. The package does match the DFN package from the Huawei 9303 datasheet. There is a marking discrepancy. The markings on the IC in the Genful sensor is the markings that the datasheet assigns to the SOT23 package, with the numbers after the L being the lot number. So my idea of the numbers after the L being an updated version of the sensor IC? Completely wrong. And here's where the K-Silver sensor IC comes in. The number on the K-Silver IC is such a close match to the marking number on the DFN package from the datasheet. But besides the signal output being completely different, the pin assignment is different as well. I think that would point to the K-Silver IC being manufactured by a different company. I wouldn't think a company would use marking numbers so similar for a different part. Could be way off base there, but I sure wouldn't. Now the Favor Union sensor IC package doesn't match any of the HAL 9303 packages. It's more like a 5-pin SOT563 package. Only three of the pins are connected. Pin 1 is the 1.8 volts and has a capacitor to ground. Pin 2 is missing. Pin 3 is the output and has a capacitor to ground. Pin 4 and 6 are not connected, and Pin 5 is ground. So I would say the hunt is still on for the ICs in the K-Silver and the Favor Union. But a big thanks to the viewer that identified the Genful sensor IC. I really appreciate it. For some reason, I like knowing these things. Thank you for watching.